we're just east of the Barossa Valley in South Australia. We've taken over the family farm uh, from my parents. Uh, we farm merino sheep. We have approximately between 16 and 1800 ewes, a portion of which is a merino stud. Water is an issue for us because we rely on surface water and dams and springs. So that is quite difficult for us on some of our country. The weather patterns are changing. We seem to be having a bit more extreme events. Every drop counts in our region. This particular region has no external water security infrastructure access uh, for the majority of regional producers. So what that means is we're essentially quite vulnerable to the climatic conditions. Our average rainfall is about 600 millimetres per annum here and recently it, it, it dropped to about 350 to 400 mils per annum for a few years. So our dams were empty. We were trucking water and it was extremely stressful for producers. Water management, water security and sustainable use of water is critical moving forward into our warming, drying climate. My wife and I moved here six months ago from the 1500 square station in the Flinders Ranges where we ran cattle and sheep and we just come down to a, a smaller area, more manageable, uh, with a few cattle to keep us occupied. My experience uh, up on the station was more droughts than good seasons, so the water situation had to be managed carefully. You really didn't sleep at night because you're worried about how much water would be in the tank. The project that I'm currently coordinating is the Water Innovations on Farm project. It's only been possible through funding from the Future Drought Fund and by being supported by the SA Roseworthy Hub. And it's about bringing in tank level monitoring equipment to four producers in the region to start with. And what we're doing is monitoring how this helps with time efficiency, with their business management and with sustainable use of water and seeing how it makes a difference to the producer's quality of life. Prior to the monitor being put on the tank, my ageing father used to check the water numerous times a week. Uh, the monitor was pretty easy to install, we just had to make a, a bracket up and mount it on the top of the tank. The mounting bracket on the monitor has a, has a hole underneath so it actually beams a light down. Yeah, it, you just need to uh, get an app on your phone, it measures every three hours. And it's made a difference already. You can look at your phone and say the tank needs has some attention because it's given me an alarm to say that it's below where it should be and we need to do something about it. It's quite incredible. I think the beauty of this project is that it's so applicable to, to agricultural practice and farming across the nation. Early detection of leaks and water loss can help basically prevent livestock stress and can help overall highest quality of production levels being maintained in farming. So um, ag tech is, I think, critical to farming as we move forward for the future for efficiency and productivity of our businesses. So the Future Drought Fund has been uh, life changing by creating the opportunity for them to see how their farming practices could change moving forward to be more efficient as we look to a hotter, drier climate. It does give you peace of mind because it's, it's just so easy to look up and it's one less thing you have to worry about physically going to do. And it'll save a lot of money, a lot of time. Basically that's what it's all about. And, and more efficient. You have to measure everything you do these days. Mm -hmm.